Welcome back to YouTube Idol All Stars and the first theme. Enjoy! Caitlin, wow, you seriously, seriously wowed me, girl. I mean, seriously. You have an amazingly unique voice, and it's so strong, and you really made the song your own. And I love that. Your notes were on point. The song was a perfect song because it showcased your amazing vocal range. And the only advice I have for you is that you got to maintain it, girl. I mean, this you set the bar for yourself really high right out the gate. <laughs> you know, there's really, I mean, it's really hard to tell you where you should go from here because you've already got it. You know, you got just, I mean, this is, you know, award-winning quality right here. But you know, when you set the bar that high, you gotta make sure that you bring it every single time you perform. You gotta bring it, you know? And if you don't bring it, you know, ugh, this is a tough one. This is, you, you put yourself in a corner here because you were too good. You were too good right off the bat. So you gotta maintain it or supersede it. That's the only thing you can do. You can't drop the ball now. Uh, there are some artists out there that I consider to be in that sort of untouchable camp that always draws a wince from me when I hear someone's trying to take them on and Lady Gaga is definitely one of those. To try and get up to that kind of level with an audition, you've got to have a kind of uniqueness and power in your voice that would probably mean you'd have a recording deal already, but you know, fair play for taking that one on. And in terms of feedback that I can give you, just make sure, I'm sure there's a technical term for this, but follow through at the end of a line because there's a few times in that song where it asks for you to sustain a note for a length of time and you haven't, you've just kind of fallen flat on it. So if you can't stretch for it and you can't reach it and sustain it, don't try, just cut it short or find some other way to fill that gap because it's very noticeable and as you get onto the later stages of the competition that kind of comes between going home and continuing on. I'm sure you'll be fine, it's something that you can work on and look at but just make sure that you are extending those notes and keeping them up there and not falling off or you know maybe stretching for it and then going high, going sharp, another thing to watch out for. So um, all in all though, you know, good effort for taking on Lady Gaga, fair play to you. It's such a joy to hear how much you've improved since you last competed on YouTube Idol. Your belting sounds better than ever. This was so strong, overall just really great work. It wasn't perfect though, it sounds like you're trying too hard with lower notes, as if you don't have enough breath left. So try to use proper breath technique and make your lower parts sound more fluid and smooth. And for future entries, just make sure to bring all your dynamic levels in different songs throughout the contest and showcase your range to make sure you sound the most versatile you can be. If you play your cards right this time around, you could be someone to look out for. Now 
When you get a big drum sound and a thick chugging guitar in rock music, you need the vocal to come in and deliver the same power. And in this, we were treated to something that was very thin, uh, which didn't work for me at all. I mean, at times towards the end, there are signs that you've got some vocal talent for sure. And that breakdown bit uh, demonstrated flexibility and versatility, which could be useful. My advice is look at someone like Ed Sheeran, who you know, can throw in the speaking parts or a rappy type part, plus he's got the vocal, but it's a stripped down acoustic performance, so he's not getting overshadowed by other instruments or that sort of thing. He's just allowed to go out and do his thing and, and mix things up. So I think you might need to change tack a little bit. There are things in your voice that we need to isolate and look for the positives in, and those need to come across. They don't need to be hidden away with uh, a big like rock sound. So maybe try something a little bit different. In fact, you're gonna be forced to with this competition. You will have to take on things a little bit different. So make sure that your voice is the forefront of it and the production and the instruments is in the background. Tone it down a little bit and let's see what you can do. As usual, you're giving great energy. I thought it was fun to hear you rap and show more of the different styles you can do. Overall, it was a rather good piece. But I don't love it. Some of the so-called background voices were disturbing rather than enhancing the experience. Because they weren't background voices, they took over everything. And I wasn't a fan of the way you modified your voice at the higher register, it sounds kind of forced and unnatural. So instead, maybe you should use the edgy sound you used in Revolution Dualism from last season. That sounds much more like you, in my opinion. And even the sweeter higher note sounds more natural in that piece. And I know you are capable of producing a much better piece. Revolution Dualism and Don't Stop Me Now were probably your best entries from last season, so maybe learn from yourself from those. All that said, I do appreciate that you're trying new things. And it was smart of you to do it this early in the competition when it's not as hard to go through to the next round as it is later in the competition. I hope and believe this is good enough to go through. Ginja, you have a strong voice, but it was so distracting. Everything about it, you know, I, I wanted to hear you, but all I could hear was you singing with you, singing with you, harmonizing with you. There was just uh, too much you. It was really hard to pick the you I was supposed to be hearing out of all of the you's, if that makes sense. It, it was just way too much going on, just way too much, too many voices, and it wasn't very clean. You know, if you're going to do something like that where you're going to harmonize with yourself or you're going to have a backup singer or you're just going to record yourself singing backup vocals and lead vocals you have to remember there is a lead vocalist there is somebody that really needs to be the focal point unless you're in a choir um, and then when you have the backup singers they need to be backup and the way you kind of edited it all together it just sounded like everybody was the lead and I couldn't pick you or your personality out of the song it was just it was just very distracting it needs to be a lot cleaner because um, I just couldn't get a feel for you and I want to hear you. This was heartfelt, warm and sweet. I like this tone. I don't think I've ever heard you sing like this. And it was nice hearing more of your lower range. Your voice resonates pretty well actually. It was an unexpected song choice. 
and it's not my kind of music to be honest, but I don't have much to complain about in regards to your actual performance. There were some notes towards the end that were shaky and you weren't completely in tempo all of the time, and a bit more creativity would have elevated this. You could have added harmonies, for example. Since this song is very simple and undramatic, more creativity would be needed to really bring it to that next level. But overall, it was hard to find anything really wrong with this, so well done! Ryan, you have a really interesting voice, a beautiful vibrato, a strong and clear sound. Um, I think maybe it might have been too strong for this particular song. You were a little faster than the accompaniment in some places, and that's because I just think it was the power of your voice. And a lot of times you seem to have to kind of back up, you know, slow down so that the accompaniment could catch up. With a song like Edelweiss, it needs to be really floating and airy, like Edelweiss. You know, it kind of like have that balance between being strong yet delicate. You know, if you can find that balance, you know, it'll be perfect. You have a really beautiful performance voice. You're definitely the kind of voice that's needed on stage in shows like Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat and Phantom of the Opera and, you know, different kind of operatic sounding voices. I mean, you really have that power and you have that talent. So I look forward to hearing more from what you're going to do for us next. I'll tell you what, Ryan, if I hear any Les Mis productions that need a Jean Valjean, I'll be putting your name forward because your voice is already prime for musical theatre. And in this comes the challenge because when you're in a competition like this you're going to have different genres you've got to tackle you might have to tackle a song which is normally voiced for a female part and then you've got to adapt or you've got to adapt the song to fit so you're going to have to use your head on this one to make sure that it happens and I think you're going to live and die by how well you're able to pull this one off and you've got a supreme talent I've got nothing I can really point out in your voice that was a weakness for that particular song how will that start to pan out when we tackle others? Will this be where the weaknesses start to come out? Or will you be able to deliver a performance which is very versatile? That is what I'm looking forward to seeing, but I'm really excited about the prospect. If you were falling Then I would catch you You need a light I'd find a man Cause I love the way you say good morning And you take me the way I am If you are chilly Here take my sweater Your head is aching I'll make it better Cause I love The way you call me baby And you Take me the way I am Cause I Love you more than I could ever promise And you Him. Amazing, truly amazing, flawless performance. I love the tone in your voice. The notes were so perfect. And, you know, the personality that you expressed in this song, it, it just worked. I mean, it worked. I could feel the song just from the way you were conveying it through your voice. I mean, it was an awesome job. You know, seriously, again, we're talking bar was set way to the top and, you know, the only way you can go is either jump over it and hurdle that bar you set for yourself or you drop the ball and you fall down. Don't do that, you know. That's that's going to be your challenge is to maintain this quality or to supersede it and not drop it. Do not drop the ball on this one because you could go really far with a voice like that. 
Now that, Kim, was a great audition and what a way to start week one because you've demonstrated so many things to us there. You've got range in both directions, you've got character to your voice and you've got that polish as well, that professional level of polish where it's just on point and I feel like you could go and sing 10 songs and be on point with every one of them. Now this is your time to prove that's right or to prove it wrong I guess and if that's not the case then maybe the feedback will be a little bit different uh, next time out but yeah I mean it seems at least from this first audition that you've got the complete package and now it's just a case of making sure that you keep to that level and push yourself to go just that little bit further and you know just add a few extra dimensions to your voice as well and let's see uh, how far you can go. Wonderful. It was a sweet, quiet, yet dynamic performance. You suit these stripped down covers well. You sound so inviting, you made me want to be your friend. And that's a good experience to give the listener. I was impressed at how effortlessly you transitioned between chest voice and head voice. I also think your tone sounds a little bit different in this. Maybe it's due to increased confidence. And I think if you keep doing this well, your confidence is just going to keep rising because you're going to realize just how amazing you are. Anyway, thanks for having me, and this next song is Trouble by Coldplay, one of my favorite songs of all time. And I hope the, the sh short runtime gets across how much I like it. Anyway, thank you. Spider web and I'm caught in the middle So I twist and turn And the thought of all the stupid things I've done and I never meant to cause you trouble I never meant to do you wrong Ah, well, if I ever caused you trouble Oh, no, I never meant to do you harm Now, I'll admit I'm not one of the world's biggest Coldplay fans, but you've got to respect the talent that these guys have, and Chris Martin just has the market cornered as far as the downbeat piano ballad goes. I mean, some of that music, of course, it has some powerful moments in it and a chance where he can get behind his voice, but, you know, a lot of it, you haven't got that advantage and you need the emotion to carry across, and from this performance, I didn't really feel it. I just kind of felt like you're copying a song that you like and didn't really connect with it too much, and I didn't hear that coming across, so... I think the main thing to focus on as you move forward is when you get a song or when you pick a song, you know, just get to the bottom of what the singer was trying to get out of it, what message they're trying to convey, and then just see if you can bring that across in your voice a little bit more. And then, you know, I'm sure um, we will start to see you shine as we go on through the process. This was song pitch, and I like your vibrato, but I have to be honest with you, I don't like this tone. At least not as much as your fuller, darker tone. You're probably going to be super annoyed that I bring up your audition again, but I really advise you to listen to your audition and try to get that tone again. Choose songs where you can utilize that amazing deep raspy voice and your belting skills, because that is seriously winner quality right there for me. And this entry isn't, I'm sorry. It doesn't sound effortless, it sounds nasal and like you're trying to mimic someone else's voice a little bit. Maybe if you had lowered the key or even sung an octave lower it would have forced you to change your tone. I don't mean you should never use this tone again, but I'm really longing for you to find back to that voice because I know you have it. You have crazy potential and it's just frustrating for me that you can't seem to prove it again. You did explain to me a while back why your audition was much better than your other work because it had more meaning, but I don't think that explains why you can't use that tone again. I think your main problem is poor song choices. Maybe choose a song from the same artist that made the audition song, or from the same genre. I still have hope for you, and I hope you have hope for you too. Colton, you have a really nice voice, a solid quality to your voice, but 
this song, I wasn't feeling it for you. There were some notes that kind of missed the mark. You were a little flat sometimes. Um, and there were moments where there seemed to be a disconnect. You were singing the song, but it didn't sound like you were feeling the song. And one thing that's really important when you're an artist is a lot of times there are going to be people listening to you singing that don't speak your language fluently or don't speak in the language you are singing fluently. So if they don't understand some of the lyrics, they need you to convey the emotion of the song and to make them feel what they're supposed to be feeling, even if they don't understand. And, you know, that's one thing that I love about certain artists. One of my favorite artists is a J-Rock star named Gact. He, I, I don't really understand a lot of Japanese. I'm very, you know, minimal in my conversational Japanese, but, you know, I'm not fluent. But he has an ability to transcend the language barrier by conveying the story he wants to tell through his voice and, you know, through the emotion that he's emitting when he's singing. So you need to find the connection between the emotion and the song. Um, and you got the voice, you know, you, you have it. You just, you've got this rich tone, you got this unique quality. You just have to watch a few of those notes and you got to find a song that showcases that emotion, something that you can connect to on an emotional level and express that to your audience. Um, and you need to find a song that showcases your range a little better. This really wasn't a good song for you. This this wasn't you need to work on song choice next time. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more entries in the next episode. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe.